No matter how you slice it, pizza ranks as the number one sports snack in the U.S. And Pittsburgh ranks as one of the best pizza towns. Yeah, of course. That makes sense. Pizza's the go-to grub while watching our Steelers, Penguins, Pirates, and Pitt. And maybe because their sports teams are so good, our pizza is too. But which is best? All right, well, it's time to find out. We conducted a ridiculously unscientific poll and threw eight great Pittsburgh pizza joints into the bracket for our first ever Fan Nation Pizza Challenge. And here they are, some perennial favorites and some diaper dandies. Okay, the perennials are represented by Minios, Fiori's, Vincent's, and Bados. Versus the new kids on the block, Badamos, Pizzeria Davide, Ironboard, and Driftwood Oven. Over the next three weeks, you, Fan Nation, will choose two finalists to go mano a mano. Watch a challenge and tell us who you think is best after each round. In the first two rounds, you'll be judging the style with which each pizza is created prior to cooking and presentation coming out of the oven and onto your table. The first throwdown, Vincent's Pizza Park versus Badamos. Our pizzas, literally, there's nothing like it anywhere in the world. They call it Vinnie Pie. In about 1948, my grandfather and my grandmother drove cross country uh, with like seven dollars and a head of lettuce in their pocket and he went to go learn how to make pizza from his uncle Vincent who was in San Francisco and then moved there from Naples and then they drove back across the country here to Ardmore Boulevard and opened Vincent's Pizza. His style was renowned. He chain smoked in the kitchen, never cleaned the ovens, had a gun-toting credo that reflected the times. He's standing there smoking his cigarettes and while he flipped the pizza, you know, gun in his pocket or on the counter and he would scream at the customers and curse. He was so confident, he knew his pizza was the best that if anyone complained, it was just, get out. You don't like it? Bye bye. <laughs> the stretch is not elegant. The sauce application is even handed. Cheese in abundance. Toppings, um, pout high would be an understatement. Once Jack pulls it from the oven, not exactly surgical precision, but the result undeniable. Now, let's go to Badamo's in Mount Lebanon. I'd been in sales. I did sales through my 20s. I hit 27. I was sick of working for the corporate man. I, uh, I wanted to do food. I wanted to do it myself. And I went on the search for a place and found this Mount Lebanon spot um, January 2010 and was open by February 1st. In its 12th year, with a second location on the north side, this traditional round and Sicilian shop caught fire quickly and never looked back. They have a flair for the dramatic. Showmanship. Owner Anthony Badama learned his craft the honest way. My love for pizza started at home, you know, family stuff. I mean, Italian-American from Pittsburgh. Uh, my grandparents used to make Sicilian pizza at home, tray pizza, make the dough. They used to can tomatoes, can peppers, all that stuff. Learned how to do that when I was young. Watch my grandma cook, watch my nanny cook. The outcome is awesome. Oh, the best. Are you drilling yet? I know I am, Daisy. I am starving right now. I know. So what do you all think? Vincent's or Badamos? Go to Fan Nation's Facebook page to cast your vote.